Hello everyone. I wanted to talk about calipers a little bit with you. Maybe some info that you don't know about them. But first let's start off with just these are digital calipers. If you look here you can see that this goes up to six inches. Here you have a scroll wheel that helps you a little bit to ensure that you're pushing but not pushing too hard. Because if you influence it you can get it to read out a different number. And then just some of the features of this is this is where you can measure an internal diameter of an object. Here's where you can measure an external diameter. And down on the end here, this is where you can measure the depth of a material or a height of a material. So you can see. But before you use calipers, you want to really ensure that they're ready to be used. So you can see you want to zero them out. Then you want to look at the tips here to see if there's any chips or nicks in here because that's going to give you a bad reading. Then you want to check these contact faces here and even wipe them to ensure that they're clean. Check these tips here. And if everything looks good, then they should be pretty accurate and ready to use. And these measure generally within a thousandth or two of an inch. So you can see you have your contact points here. Make sure that those are nice and sharp edges. These as well, sharp edges. You can see that the back end is not bent at all. Make sure they're running nice and smooth. And you can see there's a track in this back here. Sometimes when you're machining metal, they can get dust and debris in here. But that's basic functions. You do have a lock screw here. And some of the nice things that you can do with calipers is you can back dimension objects, like if you wanted to find out the hole spacing. So to figure out the hole spacing on this, you'd measure the furthest point to furthest point, and then you'd subtract the diameter of the hole, which is right at 200. So you'd measure this. So you have 1 inch minus 200. So 0.8 should be the hole spacing, give or take a little bit. So you can see they're very handy to have and I would recommend getting a good pair. Like I bought these used. I did buy these new when I found them on sale for like $110, $115. But I've used the Harbor Freight ones and they just do not hold up. And I've worked with a lot of machinists and I've worked with a lot of other people and one of the common things that people do to damage the calipers is they actually mark objects with them. Like if you were trying to scribe this, a lot of times they'll drag the calipers to try to make a line to mark up with. And that's really what you don't want to do because anytime you contact metal, you're taking some off of this as well. So if you wrap an object with tape, you can kind of get away with getting a little bit of a mark without damaging anything. So if you wanted to make a mounting hole on this, you could mark it like that and then you could come back in and make a little point with this or even a punch. And then you'd have a nice location that's 400 in in both directions from the edge. So using tape on metal or any other object could allow you to make a markation with your calipers without damaging them. I've seen a lot of people trash nice calipers just by doing that. But here's a little circle template. So you can see you can come inside of it to measure. And a lot of these circle templates, they have an offset for an intended lead diameter, so I don't expect this to be exactly one inch. But it's great for 3D printing if you do have like a speaker like this that I have a project coming up with and you want to mount this speaker. 
you'd measure the furthest point to furthest point, and you know you're going to want to round this up, and it may be metric as well. And then if you measure the diameter of this hole and you subtract that from your furthest point, that'll get you the whole spacing of this. And this is a 3D printed little block that I made. It's more of a test of the accuracy of the printer because it's not going to be dead on, but it's close. So if you wanted to measure the height of something. And I like these calipers because if you look at this back end, it's a small dowel that comes out versus this. It has kind of a wedge that comes out. And this can actually limit you a lot of times because it just can't get into some tight areas where this really can get into anything. So if you're looking to buy a used set, that's what you really have to look at is these contacts and make sure that all these faces are clean. A lot of times people measure drill bits and the drill bits will chew up this anvil here. And I'm sure there's companies that can reface these and then recalibrate, but there's going to be an added cost with that. So I hope that helps a little bit.